Hi guys, welcome back to another More To More moment. Thank you for all your continued support. Continue to like, subscribe and comment on our videos. We appreciate every single one. Cracking on, it is a new year. It's a fresh start. Happy new year to you all. Yeah. And obviously, um, with new year comes new things, new jobs, new, new cars, new houses. And, um, God willing. God willing, yeah. With that being said, we want to talk about things that you should be wearing to an interview. Yeah. All right. It's just that simple. This, this new year, you know, you probably want to upgrade your life in every yeah. area. And one of the things that people look to is shedding that old weight um, from your old job that you hate and going for some greener pastures. Yeah. So hopefully we can give you some tips and advice that will score you that big job. Yeah, big time, big time. So look, first things first, wear a suit. Oh yeah. But you know what? This is an interesting thing. So, Let's, let's, let's put some little context behind this, right? Mm -hmm. So this is for jobs in the city, in the corporate environment. So I'm not talking about jobs on the building site, jobs in a marketing agency, or jobs in an the art gallery. Right, yeah, in the creative, creative types. Yeah, I'm not talking, yeah, no, this is jobs in the corporate industry. So mm -hmm. first things first, wear a suit. Yeah. Not a blazer, not a jacket with jeans, mm -hmm. an actual suit, matching jacket and trousers. Yeah, obviously if you can get a tailored suit, Spot on. You better. But just make sure you're, you're wearing a well fit suit. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things which we definitely suggest is obviously avoid a double breasted suit. Um, Get right I think up. it's a bit too much for an interview. I'd probably also say avoid a, a waistcoat too. I think it's a little bit too pretentious. Mm hmm. I may, I may be using the wrong word, I may even be wrong by that, but I think it's too pretentious. If mm. someone walked in, and if I was the boss, you walked in wearing a double breasted suit or even a waistcoat, it almost says to me, I'm, I'm the daddy right yeah. now. I'm, I'm it's the, it's I'm cocky. The, like, what? It's, re it's real cocky. What? <laughs> it might work for you in your favour. If you're it going might. for a trading job, that probably works for you because yeah. that's the type of industry is they want you to be confident. They want you to come in and be like, I'm here to shut this down. Yeah. But if you're going for a normal office job, Maybe, maybe not the case. Yeah. yeah, and that's not to say that a waistcoat or a double-breasted suit doesn't look good in the corporate environment. Just mm -hmm. for the first impression, I'm not sure if it says the right thing. Mm. We also read somewhere to avoid pinstripes, but I don't see an issue with pinstripe. No, I actually my last job before obviously going full time on this business. Yeah, I wore a pinstripe to my interview, and my boss said the suit that I wore was one of the reasons, as soon as I walked in the door, he was just like, I think I'm gonna hire this guy. Yeah. You know, um, obviously the fit came down to it in the combination, but I don't think a pinstripe is a bad thing as long as you're not going real bold with the stripes. So, so it's not even, that's not even pinstripe, that's chalk stripe, uh, which is real thick. Yeah, color. yeah, yeah. Also to talk about color, I guess, you've got your, the staples of your wardrobe that you should always have are the blacks, the greys and the navies. Yeah. Now, any of those would be suitable for an interview. Um, no browns. Avoid. I'd, I would avoid check though. I mean, a pinstripe. Yeah. I'd probably avoid a check suit. White shirts. <sighs> Always a white shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one hundred percent. Just don't try and get fancy with it. Uh, just keep it clean. Keep it pure. White. Forget even though sky blue and um, a nice light pink go very well in the city. Mm -hmm. Just keep it white. Yeah. White yeah. is just the best way to go. You, you can't make any mistakes with it. Yeah, don't yeah. don't try and get too fancy. No Winchester shirts. No. Uh, Winchester shirts are when you have the white cuff oh. and collar and then a different type of Mate. body. Just don't don't do that for an interview. No, um, definitely not. Not Gordon Gecko. <laughs> no. You know you might be in a few years when you've got the job, but don't do that for the interview. No. Um, well, again, this is just advice. Yeah. Right. It's just advice. You don't have to follow these tips, but um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, and then obviously you got ties as well. Yeah. Keep the ties subtle. So I mean, you can have like polka dots. Um, I would always advise go for a plain tie. You just wanna you wanna keep the focus on you, um, and not what you're wearing, and and you know people remembering you for wearing a polka dot pink tie. Um, you know? But do you want to make a great impression though? So you do want people to you walk do. and be like, that guy was sharp, like. Yes. So you do. So I mean, it's sort of like a balance, like. This is it. It's, it's sort of like a balance. You don't want it to be like um, an overbearing pattern. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a bit like, okay, cool. The main feature about you is your tie. Yeah. Right? But you exactly. do want to walk in and be like, okay, cool, that guy's sharp. Mm -hmm. like, that guy's sharp. He, yeah, he, he takes pride in his appearance, so he must take pride in his work. That's the impression you want to leave. You don't want to be a, leave the impression of, the only thing I remember about him is his tie. 
Yeah. Nah. Yeah. You don't want to be that guy. Yeah. So yeah. So obviously you've got other things to work on other than your attire. Yeah. But just make sure your attire is on point. You know, when you get the job, if other people are dressing like that, rock it. This is fine. Yeah. But you've just got to think first impressions matter a lot. Yeah. Now, um, another thing when it comes to tires, I heard one time you should never wear a red tie to an interview because, you know, red tie signifies boldness, danger, this and that. If somebody doesn't want to hire you because you're wearing a red tie, you don't want to work for that person. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just not that, I don't think it's that, it's deep. that deep. I don't think it's that deep. Again, there's people that get paid to do this. They're paid yeah. to look into colours and, and try and they need to justify their paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll tell you, yeah, baby blue signify calmness and authority, and then they'll probably uh. tell you things like, look at what Barack Obama wears to his meeting. But yeah. it's diff completely different. You don't have to be boring with it, but just wear something that you know will help you stand out, but not for the wrong reasons. Yeah, exactly. I also, yeah, also you might notice that I'm not wearing a pocket square. I mean, oh, yeah. that's one thing that, I mean, we, we've got different opinions on this, but I've always thought in, in the city, just no pocket square. Unless you go to a place that you see guys around there, like the CEOs and the managers, they're wearing pocket squares. So you're like, okay, cool, I can get involved in that, but you don't want to be that guy that just turns up a pocket square, because again, that can give off the same impression as the, for me, the double-breasted and the waistcoat. It's like, mm -hmm. who's this guy? Who's he think he is with a pocket square? I agree to an extent. Um, I would definitely say no bold silk pocket squares, uh, you know, no polka dots, no pearsy, anything of that nature. If you do go for a pocket square, mm. I don't think having a white fold, straight fold or even a white silk pocket square is offensive. Um, I think it just adds to that extra touch. But at the same time, again, you have to look at the type of job that you're going for yeah. and the type of environment um, and consider that factor. Yeah. Also, no lapel pins. Oh, no, no, no lapel pins, um, socks. I, I like a bright, funky sock, but no, not for the interview. Keep it plain, keep it navy, keep it black, no gray, no white. Um, those are probably the easiest. Maybe you could get away with a stripe, maybe diamond, something of that nature. But again, not outlandish, not too colorful. Um, yeah, just respectable. Yeah. There you go. I think we've covered everything. I think so. Oh, shoes? Shoes, black or brown? Dark brown. I wouldn't wear brown to interview. Wouldn't you? No. Even with with a black suit, a grey suit or a navy suit, I'd just keep it black. Yeah. I think brown... I, I know in my last job mm -hmm. I was told not to wear brown shoes. Ah, interesting. Yeah. To go and see clients, I was mm. told never wear, wear brown. brown shoes. Of course, I did, <laughs> but <laughs> that's because I styled it in a certain way. Um, but I would say stick with black. Um, the thing with brown, I love brown shoes with certain suits. Obviously, not a black suit, um, but it adds that bit of character. And again, it's something that people will notice and pick out. Um, it depends on the brown, though. I, mean, I think a deep dark brown you can get away with. I think the lighter tan browns, I would steer clear from, I wouldn't even touch. Mm. Yeah. This is my opinion though, it's just Again, my opinion. You know, we, we don't agree on everything. Yeah. <laughs> and these, these are things for you guys to think about for yourselves. Yes. Yeah. You know, what, what carries the least risk for you? Well, there you have it, right? Interview tips of how to secure yourself your dream job in the new year 2016. Mm. Oh, and wear a more small suit, of course. Oh, obviously wear a more small suit. That'll definitely do it. You mm. wouldn't have to do anything else. Just mention our name. <laughs> so just say my name. You know me, you know me. <laughs> but listen, look, all right? We hope you enjoyed that video. Continue to like, subscribe, and comment on the videos. Continue to send your questions in to us at ask at mortomore.com. And also continue to follow us on our several social media streams. And also interact with us on them too. So that's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and right here on YouTube. Unless you're watching it on Facebook. Unless you're watching it on Facebook. So yeah. there you go. All right. See you guys soon. See you soon, guys. So we're going to show you guys two complete looks from each of us. Yeah. Uh, with one waistcoat.
Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, for an interview, I would, I would have boys the waistcoat and the double wristed. What? what did I say? For an interview, the boys. <laughs> <laughs> for an interview, I would have boy 